the car is filthy. It's absolutely disgusting. And this is the big problem with winter. The beauty of this whole thing is the undercarriage wash. Welcome back, I'm Tedward. Trying to skate by here without getting hit with snow falling off the solar panels. This is like, really, we didn't think that out when we put those up there. <laughs> but today, we've got the M3 and it's filthy because I was out doing some snow drifting. Well, I wasn't out doing snow drifting, but I, I was driving home and naturally I end up snow drifting. But the car is filthy. It's absolutely disgusting. And this is the big problem with winter, right? You go out, you get caked in road salt. So all this paint is just corrosive road salt. And then underneath the car, it's all road salt. It gets all in the wheel wells. It gets up on all those connection points. And even though the M3, it's mostly composite plastics, aluminum, it still has steel. It still has a lot of like easily corrosive places on it. Now, it's not as bad as my E39 M5. For example, in here, BMW wised up. They made all this plastic and the M5, that's all steel. So that car is just, oh my God, you don't even want to drive it in the rain. But this brings up the big question. How do you maintain your car's health in terms of corrosion during the winter months? Because I mean, I can't wash my car out here. Number one, if I sprayed this car down and did a hand wash out here, it would probably freeze the whole car. I would just have an ice box. Two, I would end up with an ice rink on my driveway and I'd probably end up with a liability issue. Someone would come here, break their head open on my driveway because I was, I was washing my car and now I owe money. And three, my town is on a perpetual water ban. Like, all of the time. And if, if, a, if a police officer drove down the street and watched me washing my car, I would get fined. I would get fined, which is very frustrating. So we're left with three solutions. Number one, pay big money to a really nice car wash place. Now there are great, and I shouldn't say big money, but there's great places around here that you can go get a good quality hand wash. The problem is they are a little far. So by the time I've gone there, had them do this beautiful hand wash and undercarriage wash, by the time I get home, the car's already filthy again. Two, you go to a normal car wash. It has all the spinny stuff and it's got the spaghetti cloths and you just scratch the hell out of your paint because guess what? You're not the only one going through there. You've got guys in pickup trucks that are literally out off-roading and those cloths are just collecting all of that dirt and grime and it basically becomes sandpaper. And I'm sure that there's some car wash places out there that would refute me and say, oh, we clean it, we clean it, we clean it. But like, I just, I can't stomach that. And three, the touchless car wash. And that's what I'm gonna go do today. We're gonna go take this through a touchless car wash. And I asked you guys on Instagram earlier whether you like touchless car washes or not because the reality is if I took a little bit of water and a cloth, I could wipe this down and clean it. it takes very little effort, no chemical aggression to do that. But when you wanna clean something without touching it, you need some pretty aggressive chemicals and that, there, that, therein lies the problem with the touchless car wash and why some people don't like them. So I feel like it's better than nothing. You can sound off in the comments below, but let's take this out and get it started and see if we can't get some of the salt off of the car. Cause frankly, I think it's better than nothing to do a touchless car wash. And there's my check engine light. So this video is partially supported by Carly Connected Car. Yes, I have a wonky thermostat. The car does warm up fine, but I don't want to look at this check engine light. So what I'm going to do is plug in my Carly Connected Car, pop it in, get on my phone, delete the code. It'll come back later. But we are going to do a full service on this car. I'm going to put a new thermostat, water pump, some hoses, and all the accoutrement from FCP Euro. They've got a great little kit. It's so cheap. It's like $279 or something ridiculous like that for a water pump and a thermostat. It's great. And while I'm connecting to this, you can get 10% off your Carly Connected Car through my coupon code TEDWORD when you order it till the end of February. So I just got here and I was gonna buy myself the monthly pass, but it turns out they do not include the touchless wash in the monthly package. You have to go through the tunnel and that is a bummer to me. Thank you. Please pull forward slowly into the wash. All right, well, we still need to wash the car regardless of the package. Let's see, we want this to start up. 
beauty of this whole thing is the undercarriage wash. That's what you want. Not my favorite thing to do in a dual clutch. So the chemicals in these tend to be fairly aggressive, which is really the reason why a lot of people don't like these types of car washes, um, which I understand. I mean, look, you're, you're basically doing the job with chemicals that could be done with just the very gentle swipe of a cloth. But again, we're, we're in winter time, so many sacrifices have to be made. And I'm also in a very modern car with what likely has a very thick clear coat. I'm sure it can handle it. I would not be coming through here with an older car like my 911. That's probably not a great idea. I gotta say, I have huge disappointment right now. I thought I was gonna be paying $30 a month to get unlimited touch-free car washes and I was really excited uh, oh well It's a good way to check out if your car is sealed up properly though, because there's a heck of a lot of pressure that goes through these things. And it's definitely nice to know that, uh, you know, it's not, it's not leaking through all of those nice, pretty seals. Let's dry her off. This is always the challenging part. You guys, you got like 55 seconds on the clock. You want to try to get the most out of it and get this car dried. see how she came out I definitely again I'm really bummed out I was genuinely hoping that I was gonna be able to do this like unlimited times per month and just come through every time I've done a little snow drifting yeah so it doesn't get everything off of these still should have probably kicked that off before I went in but not terrible lots of steam coming off hot engine parts hey better than nothing so that's my take on the touchless car wash. I think that's it. It's better than nothing, right? Thank you guys so much for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. Don't forget to respect the drive. Keep your cars reasonably clean. Don't worry too much about what all those obsessed garage people say. I love obsessed garage, I do. I don't mean to throw them under the bus. When you get on the level of obsession of, of those guys, it almost prevents you from even doing anything. At some point you're like, well, if I'm not gonna do it this way, I'm not even gonna wash my car. And, and sometimes that's the right way to go. Sometimes you definitely shouldn't be washing your car with the wrong equipment, but most of the time, most of the time, even just a reasonable wash is better than nothing, especially in salty New England weather. Look at this, I'm gonna be filthy by the time I even get home.